Another weekend of demonstrations in Denver. One for law enforcement appreciation, the other protesting police all in the same place. Good evening, I'm Kathy Walsh. Thank you for joining us. It didn't take long for the two groups to clash. Tensions boiling over after one group moved in on the other's designated area. Rick Salinger joins us live from Civic Center Park tonight. And Rick, you were out there this afternoon. Things escalated quickly. Well, Kathy, this was a recipe for trouble. A long planned pro-police demonstration and those against the police vowing to bust it up. The anti-police protesters stormed into this pro-police rally, intent on disruption. As the protesters attempted to take over the stage, they were met with fierce resistance. The police backers weren't giving up their annual tribute without a fight. As a man on a motorcycle tried to leave, more fights broke out. Ron McLaughlin is the founder of this pro-police rally. Some guy hit me with, I thought a skateboard, maybe it was something else, across the face, and another guy came down on top of me with something. Police are known as the thin blue line. Officers here attempted to create a thicker barrier between the opposing groups. It didn't always work out as hoped. We don't appreciate the police because they behave in a racist manner. They disproportionate police communities of color. If there was any chance for a civil discussion, that hope was quickly lost. Some were bloodied in the melee, some taken into custody. At one point, police unleashed pepper balls and smoke. Demonstrators came to the aid of each other to assist in clearing their eyes. There's nothing peaceful about these people. They, they yell, they scream, they get in your face. The amount of fights that they start is ridiculous. The protesters from the Party for Socialism and Liberation moved out of the amphitheater, taunting police SWAT units as they said goodbye. The scorecard for today, one person arrested, two pepper balls fired, and one good example of just how far apart people are in this country these days. Live in Denver, Rick Salinger, covering Colorado First.